New Year always starts with harvesting willow, as you saw in the previous video. What comes next are many weeks of grading, sorting the willow by size. I like to do this process myself. Um, it gives me a chance to go through all the bundles and to see how the willow did and um, what is actually in the harvest. To keep dragging willow bundles around to a minimum, I grade wherever the willow is. So you'll see me grading in the shed here in a very stormy day. Um, also by the house um, where the willow was closest. Um, also um, in our donkey shed where the willow is uh, in the field. Every year we try to plant at least some willow. This year um, this bed came up available. It was where our polytunnel used to be and it was falling down and had to be replaced. But we weren't going to put it back in the same, in the same place. So um, of course um, 
we planted the willow there. And as you can see, I left these um, stems longer. So these uh, guys will be pollarded, uh, especially because at the back um, we're dealing with terraces and um, the higher they are, the more sunlight they would get. And then it was time to do some living willow work. You can follow along here where I make a living willow arch in a beautiful garden. Um, and I started by turning over the uh, sods uh, in the ground, taking out stones, preparing the soil for um, willow to grow into it. I pushed the main willow rods into the ground and then started weaving around them. I just did basic simple pairing, uh, making sure to add even before the rods were um, running out to keep them nice and strong. And I just wove a little bit like um, a few rows at the bottom to tie them all together and then I started spiraling upwards. This provided the structure for the arch. After that I wove in um, rods by pushing them into the ground and weaving them through the structure in a kind of a spiral way, uh, filling it up as much as possible 
and those uh, mainly will be the ones that will start growing. Next, I had to tackle our willow fence. This is a fence that is around our own willow bed, um, and it had been struggling um, for a few years. The first few years we planted it, we had an attack of beetles on it, and um, the second year they came back again. There was a little willow beetle that was eating the leaves from the um, willow plants uh, in the hedge, only the hedge, and um, leaving the the leaves to dry up and fall off so it didn't grow as much the first year. The second year the willow beetle came back and um, by the third year the birds have found the beetles and they started eating them and so the fence recovered but it meant that I didn't do any maintenance over it uh, for the first two years because I felt it needed the time uh, to recover it needed all its strength so um, this is after three years now I'm tying in um, pulling down the rods and just um, tying them all weaving them all together to make the fence stronger back to some living willow structures. 
Um, if you want to know a full step-by-step -step kind of tutorial, um, check out my previous video to this one, where I show you a little bit more of how to make one. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no. Alright you beautiful people, this is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I want to really thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.